Lab Guy here. Returning to the theme of the Hickok 760 Flying Spot Scanner, today I'm going to show you how to make your own slides for your Flying Spot Scanner using modern methods. First, we're going to scan the test slide into the computer. I am using my scanner's Twain driver inside the application of Corel Paint Shop. I've set the scanner to scan grayscale reflective material so I put a sheet of white paper behind the slide otherwise you get the black background of the scanner so I've set it for reflective scan since I don't have the backlight uh, it's a custom scan size 300 dots per inch no descreening and turn off any enhancements that your scanner dialog may contain. We then proceed to scan the slide at 300 dots per inch into the scanner in, into the uh, image processing program. I've already done this. The first thing we do with our raw scan is to save it. I gave it the name slide underbar 001 it's the first in a series but it is not the master after I clean this up then I will save it as underbar 000 let me show you quickly how I clean clean up these kinds of paper scans where you can see through the background paper and there's dirt and scratches and breaks I'll show you quickly how I do this I'm in Grace, I, I am in 256 color mode or 256 step grayscale mode. This is a monochrome picture. It is 2040 pixels by 1456 pixels. It's 6.8 inches wide by 4.85 inches tall. I start by jumping up to my outline tool. In this case it's a rectangle there are several choices. There's a rectangle freehand where I can draw around everything. I use this in the final cleanup. There's the magic wand which won't work very well with this dirty background. So I'm going to start with a rectangular selection making sure that my background color is white and my foreground color is black. So starting on this corner I would just drag this across like that in the simplest case we hit delete and it cuts that to the background color or you can hold down shift to add more to the to the cutter everything inside the outline will be cut out and holding shift which means to add more outline so I bracket the text um, and so on and quickly build up my my large areas oh, that one's no good we can go to here and I, I fill this in as I go and you, you keep this up until you're done and do that and at some point I will eventually change tools and go into the freehand outline like this and then I can just race right along I'm still holding shift by the way right right along there turn around come up boom like that this also will draw will self close which you can use to make straight lines
and so on. So as you get closer and closer, let's say that's done now. It isn't, but let's say it's done. I just, once again, I hit delete and it cuts it to my to my white background color. You proceed like this until you've cleaned up the entire thing. I use the paintbrush tool to, um, oh, wait. Okay. I use the paintbrush tool to touch up this broken line over here. Now, the day I did this, I, I took a lot more care than I'm doing now, but you get the idea. So you use these simple tools to fix this up. And then, when you have that all done and cleaned up, it'll look like this. Where black is black and white is white. So now we have our test slide in its master form, which I saved as slide underbar 00.jpg. From that, I then produced a master frame that is 8.5 by 11 inches at 300 dots per inch. In other words, it's 2,550 pixels wide by 3,300 pixels tall. I copied the the master slide with a control C. We jump in here and use the control E to paste into selection and you see there is the outline of, of the slide. And we can simply do a backup. Okay, so before I did this, in order to see the outside edge, I had taken my square tool, selection tool, selected just inside the border of the white, like this, and then went to selections, invert. So now just the outside border is selected. Moving over to the color palette, we have the foreground color box and the background color box. I use the swap materials to switch them so that now the background color is black. And when I hit delete, it cuts a black border on the edge of that frame. And that's how that was added. Before I cut, and now now we copy that bring it over to our eight and a half by eleven and control E and we can, we can paste it in and that's how I did this we'll use our backup arrows again alright so this is my master printout we can close these others nope nope so when I'm ready to put a picture in here, I get one. This is called the Rich Deal Test Pattern. This one is unique to me. So I bring it in, control copy. Now, with our selection tool again, we want to frame this box. Just like that. and then we go to edit and select paste into selection and there we have our first slide let's go get an arbitrary photograph here's a picture of me when I was really fat with Gallagher the comedian this is a good one to work with so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into image and grayscale boom it's now black and white Control copy, pop over here, put our outline box into the second slide. Not big enough. A 
better. There we go. And edit, paste into selection. So now I have a slide with me and Gallagher. F12 for save as. And we'll save it down here with the slides. And we'll save it as slide 12. Oh, it, there's already a. Oh, okay, slide 12 it is. Okay, so now we print slide 12 on clear film. I'm using Apollo brand plain paper copier transparency film, which I got at Office Depot. It's just clear film. Well, special clear film. There we go. There's a little toner smearing, but there are the slides. I will cut them out and we'll see how they look on the scanner in a moment. Let's see how our homemade slide looks. Not too bad. Not too bad. The flicker is because the Hickok scanner is running at a different scan speed than the video camera. I can't do much about it. I've been fighting with it for several minutes here and it's not going to give up. So deal with the flicker. Let's see how the other slide came out. Very good. The rounded off edges are caused by the scanner which is over scanning the face of the scanner tube. At a later date I will attempt to underscan that which of course will resize all the slides and I will fix those so that they uh, fit that new scanning. There's obviously a lot of things to fix. You have to adjust it every once in a while. So there's the 1957 Hickok 760 Flying Spot Scanner Images from my homemade custom slides. Lab Guy out. <laughs>